everyone, Dave Dolak from Westside Boat Shop and DaveTheKayaker.com with you today. We've got a fresh boat review of the Westside Boat Shop Marauder Kayak. Now what you'll notice immediately about this kayak is how long and narrow it is and what a knife-like bow it has. This was designed to really slice through the water and have a very sharp edge. Uh, this boat is the most radical west side boat shop boat the Doug Bushnell ever designed. This baby is 21 feet long and it has a water line length of, wait for it, 21 feet. So the entire length of the boat is also your water line length. So this thing is ridiculously fast. Um, it's 17 inches wide. It's pretty tippy. Most, you know, average civilians could never paddle a boat like this. Uh, I just picked this up. It's a new to me boat. Picked it up yesterday. Um, it's an absolute, like all of West Side boats, it's an absolutely gorgeous piece of artwork uh, just in its own right. Very beautiful. Love every line of these boats, especially this one. This one has the understern rudder. That might take me a little bit getting used to. Never had an understern in a West Side boat before. And I am told with the understern, you leave absolutely no wake, no trace of anything coming off the stern when you're paddling this. So uh, I'm gonna go hop in the boat and uh, give you my impressions. Now I'm forced to be my own camera person today, so I hope this turns out okay. Um, getting into the boat feels like pretty much the Thunderbolt X does. Uh, the seat feels good, let me tighten that down. This has thigh braces, so these go over your legs to uh, help you manage the stability of the boat and you can put a uh, cockpit cover on here to uh, have a fully uh, skirted decked kayak so you could actually Eskimo rule if, roll if you wanted to. The initial stability here doesn't feel a ton different than the Thunderbolt X. I mean yeah it just rolls to a side but then here it catches um, pretty nicely with a lot of buoyancy. Okay so the proof is in the paddling with all of these boats. Let's go check it out. This boat is only moderately more challenging than the Thunderbolt X. The Thunderbolt X, of course, being 18 inches wide at its widest point. This Marauder is 17 inches wide. <laughs> yeah, if you don't just jump into a 17 inch wide boat if you're not used to a skinny racing kayak, but if you're used to an 18 inch kayak or surf ski, you should be able to handle this no problem. Um, long water line length gives you greater buoyancy and uh, faster speed with a knife-like bow. It's an awesome boat. Make no mistake, this is an expert level elite paddler's uh, kayak. It's a racing kayak. If you're an elite paddler, used to 17 or 18 inch wide or 16.9 -ish, inch wide surf skis, this is your option for a winter trainer. So you're gonna find it a lot more stable than your surf ski. It's a lot more forgiving on the edges here. And you can fully skirt this. Your lower half of your body will stay protected from the elements during winter training. You can skirt it. These boats are what I use all winter long in my training. If you want to kick your paddling up a notch in a uh, racing kayak, get the Westside Boat Shop Marauder. And again, it's a really sharp bow. And I want to go inside the boat. First of all, you see a difference here in my from my other Westside boats. This one has a uh, K1 type seat on the bottom. It's also made out of carbon Kevlar, and here you can adjust the length just by loosening this wing nut, and you can adjust how close the uh, seat is to your foot rest, the foot pegs, as you're paddling. So you can actually adjust the trim of the boat while you're racing if you so want to. 
Inside the boat, you see the tiller steering. Now the tiller steering puts your legs right on the center of the boat, and you move that little uh, wooden tiller bar left and right between your toes. This is the best possible position to be in while paddling. So uh, I highly recommend if you're serious about competitive paddling or racing, learn how to use the tiller, embrace it, and then stick with it. And also these guys have foam pillars in there, both, both in the uh, bow and the stern that gives you minimal flotation. Even if these boats uh, overturn and completely fill with water, um, you'll have enough buoyancy to float the boat. All right, so I just flipped this sweet girl over so you can see her lines. You gotta love the lines of this boat. What a sweet, sweet boat. That nice, sharp, knife-sharp bow. Just cutting into the water, knifing through it. Rounded hull. This is a rounded racing hull with just enough flare around the bucket area to give you that stability. And uh, just beautiful lines all the way back. Easy to fall in love with her. I already have. Hey, there are a lot more important things in life than a kayak. There's the love of family and friends, acceptance of others, a sense of self-worth that comes from within that you don't have to derive from other people. And perhaps up there on the list is paddling a west side boat shop, kayak. A notch below that would be watching somebody else paddle a west side boat shop, kayak. And maybe somewhere in between there is having a west side boat shop kayak on top of your vehicle going home with you. West side boat shop kayaks. The tradition continues.